everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today's a super simple one, but one that is very appropriate for us New Zealanders right now. Our clocks have just gone back and winter is on the way. To create the ever popular sweater nail effect, we're going to start off with two coats of our chosen colour, cured, between each layer. And as if we're going to be stopping there, we're going to stop and seal that colour using a matte top coat. You're going to want to make sure there is no tacky layer on the snail before moving on, so let's give it a quick cleanse. And then we're coming in with that same chosen colour and creating our sweater design. This is my go-to design, lots of straight lines so you can't go too horribly wrong like you maybe can when you start creating loops and sweater swirls. Uh, we're going to do the next part while the polish is still wet, so you do have to be careful to create the entire design without curing. Onto your wet finished design, you're going to sprinkle over clear acrylic powder. Gently tap off any excess and pop in the lamp to cure. Now when I'm doing any embossed nail art, I like to cure for an extra 30 seconds to ensure the light has had time to fully penetrate through the acrylic and thoroughly cure that polish because we're done. We're not going to be top coating over this, we're leaving it as a textured design and your colour is sealed by that previous matte coat. Now traditionally sweater nails are done all in matte, just like we've just done. But I did go ahead and create another nail using a gloss top coat just to show that this can create a slightly different look. It almost gives a two-tone effect to your chosen colour. But that's it, sweater nails complete. 